Hi, this is a tutorial on how to add store categories to your Zazzle store. Alright, I'm here at my store. I'm going to go to my account and then it'll take me to my dashboard. I'll click on products tab that shows me all the products. Automatically, I'm going to click on all categories. I have several categories in here I've been working on. It's a work in progress. If you haven't got any categories, obviously it'll be blank. Um, I have some that are the uh, gray file folder, that's the default. Um, I have others that have the pictures um, instead of just the words in file folder, which I think looks a lot nicer. Um, I'm going to eventually convert these over. Um, I'm in a, a work of progress, as I said. I previously was sorting them out by product, and I made little pictures for each of the product types, and then I decided, no, you know what, I'm going to sort it out by design type or each of the designs that I've made and put on various products and that is where I'm going to now show you how to add a new category we are gonna go ahead and hit add category we're gonna click category name and I wanna do this product this is one of my products out of my store it's called Air Flambe I'm gonna go ahead and type that in air flambe hot air balloon and I already have a description that I typed up previously when I posted the product that's my description I'm gonna use the same basic description and I'm just gonna add displayed here and then I'm going to ch hit change in order to add a new photo in then you'll see it there you'll click done it says success you've successfully created a new store category and then there it is. Now I already had it here, so now we have two. I'm going to click on this, hit delete right here, and it says, Are you sure? Yes, I am. And then we're going to get rid of that. It takes me back to all products automatically. Click back on all categories to get back where I was. Now you're going to want to do that for each and every one of category. You're going to want to add a new category, and then you're going to want to add products into the categories because they start out empty. And I will show you how to do that in another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.